Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this text wrap effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so first thing is first, go to create new. Um, so I'm going to do 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels and then click create. So you're going to get a square, a square page right here. But what you want to do is kind of hold alt and zoom out and kind of come over here a bit more. You can use these little sliders at the bottom to do that. Go into the gray area a bit more because it'll just keep things a little less confusing. Okay, then first things first, go to this tool over here, the line segment tool, but right click it and go to the ellipse tool. You can also get to the ellipse tool by pressing L on the keyboard. Now, now just do that. Now hold shift so that it remains pretty stable on the way out rather than kind of like this. So make sure to hold shift and do that. So now you've got a circle, a beautiful circle. Okay, now go to the ellipse tool again, right click and go to your line segment. And then what you wanna do is just make a bunch of slices and cuts through the circle like so. There you go. Now we are going to want to go to the anchor tool, which is this one right here. Click it. Now we got to click on the lines and kind of, kind of move them around a bit like this. So we'll do that. We'll do that. You can do it any way you want, really. But yeah, yeah, that. Mm, yes, I I say that is good enough. Okay, now go to this arrow selection tool up here and then just select all of it. Then go to Window, Pathfinder, and then click the Divide one, which is right here. So Divide, now it should, now click this selection tool right here, the white one, so you can select each individual part. But now what we just did is split up the circle using the Line tool and the Pathfinder tool, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. Okay, next thing you want to do is get the text tool, which is the T right here. Then just drag it out like this and then pretty much write whatever you want in it. So I'm going to just select a more bolder font. Where is it? Where is it? Former DJR banner bold. Then I'm just going to make the text size around 300, yes, 300, and then backspace, clear it out, okay, cool. Now, what should I write, what should I write, um, hello, I'm just going to write hello, uh, I'm probably going to do it in caps actually, so hello, hello, and I'm going to do control C and then control V to copy and paste it pretty much then this time I'm going to select the text tool and change the word to by in lowercase so it's a little bit more sadder than the ecstatic hello but um yep and then I'm gonna do that again one more time But this time I'm going to write hello again. So two hellos and one bye, okay. Now what we want to do is open the layers right here and just move these text layers. So just move them underneath the shape. So now they're behind the shape, cool. Now move each text layer behind each part of the shape like so. Like that, cool, cool, cool. Now make sure you have this white selection tool selected right here and then just do this. So select that like that and then just press Control alt c on the keyboard and you'll get this cool wrap effect going on. 
Now you just want to do that to the other layers as well. So just select them, Control Alt C, and then Control Alt C. Now what you want to do is select all of it. So just select all of it, go to Object, and then Expand. Okay, there you go. So now it's kind of its own shape. It's not limited by the text tool or anything like that. It's its own thing. Now, what you want to do is just select all of it again, then Control C. Now you should have, when you press Control V, you should have two, which is pretty cool. Now, all you want to do is make sure that the colors are going to be, just make sure you figure out the colors right now. So I want kind of like a, hmm, what should I do? I'm going to do blue for this one. So I'm going to do this one at the back will be a darker blue, while this one will be a lighter blue, like so. Now the darker one, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it smaller, hold shift, make it smaller, put it down here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna make sure the dark blue one is below the light blue one. So it's kind of, the smaller one is behind the bigger one. Now what you wanna do is go to the blend tool over here and then just click on this one and click on this one and it should do something like this. Now, if you don't get what I've got right now, that's all good, just Control Z, just press Control Z, double click the blend tool and make sure it's got specified distance selected with four pixels and then just redo it. So, so just double click here, specified distance, four pixels, okay. And just click on that one, click on that one and then you should get this kind of effect going on. So there you have it, that is how you do it. Um, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me, thank you, I love you.